got the call right before we had our briefing and he said we got them loaded and so you don't want them in these trailers for very long you don't want them in pens very long these animals get stressed out so this day needed to happen and it's been a long time coming there's a lot of history with this herd and it's important that they're focusing on keeping that culture going with these these animals that have been in this park since the 30s Hey guys, Dusty Baker across Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We are here at Chickasaw National Recreation Area in my hometown of Sulphur, Oklahoma, part of the National Park Service. We're here at one of the old ranger stations and we're about to do a little briefing here with the uh, National Park Service staff because it's here, it's a big day. It is a bison moving day and there's a lot of history with this national park herd and a lot of history with me, which has brought me to where we are today um, raising bison. So hope you guys are excited. As soon as this meeting's over, bison are going to be loaded up in a trailer and we are moving across the road. There you got him. Bison already loaded? Yeah. Smooth. This happened pretty quick. Well, dang, we were going to catch that. Oh, well, maybe someone down there got it. I bet Steve was just like, let's get them rounded up. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going to skip the little media meeting here and we're going to go be a part of moving the bison. So it sounds like they already got them, which is a good thing, right? They don't want them pinned up. It works. Yeah, let's go see them get moved. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> what we understood is it happened fast. They basically, they opened the trailer and you got mama's yearlings and the calves ran to the very front of the trailer. They shut it to catch eight of them and then bull made some noises, grunted around a little bit and then slowly wanted to follow along and he entered the trailer as well. So the bull loaded last. Yeah, he didn't like it. They separated him and the girls. Look at this nice fancy trailer. The great part about this move is it's not very far. It's literally less than a mile to the new pasture. But right across the road, actually, is the bison viewpoint where you can take the buffalo trail and actually walk around this old pasture of 88 acres. Hi guys, so we are here at the new bison pasture. Kind of a story here, I can tell about it later, but you can see the new facility, handling facility here. 
got the trailer pulled up. Steve, my old boss, caught nine out of 10 bites this morning. He said he got a cow that wouldn't come up. Steve's been prepping with cubes, just kind of like I do, to try to catch these bison, and uh, I'd say that's pretty good success. He got nine out of ten, and then that cow, he said, maybe, maybe getting ready to calf, because it is calving season has began here. But unfortunately, through some media meetings and stuff, they loaded the bison up before we could get down there to the maintenance yard, which is where the bison pins are. So we were not able to catch some footage of them loading them. Got the call brought before we had our briefing and he said we got them loaded anyways they got them loaded and you don't want them in these trailers for very long you don't want them in pens very long you guys know that these animals get stressed out so as soon as we had our briefing this morning with the park rangers and the entire staff they wanted to get them loaded fast out of that holding pen. they come over here it's literally in a trailer it's like a three minute drive it's not very far from the original pasture it's literally right across the road so here we are we're waiting on the some people and stuff to uh, lease them into this holding pen and then we'll go from there so success so far nine out of ten is that is is pretty good it's a good day so far Wrong way. I just wanted us to see him. Here we go.
So by the way, this pasture is 42 acres and they just left a pasture that was a little over 80 acres. The pasture that they left, the old bison pasture, that pasture is going to be restored. Right. Bill is from Sulphur. Mm -hmm. It has some history with the bison and been fortunate to have a local represent this park here at Chickasaw National Recreation Area. And then it didn't take him long to start getting all this going uh, so that basically up to this day to let yep. these bison go. In 2016, we really were looking for, okay, how can we get move the bison someplace so we can get in there and nobody's been in that other pasture since the 30s you know yeah. so we had some work we needed to do and it's like we started looking around and where else would we take them and we we considered several places Vets Lake you know south oh, of wow. Vets Lake yeah. we considered out by Guy Sandy um, but I looked over here you know when I was a kid this was all Sears and all cleared off I'm like I looked across the street and I said what a perfect place to put them and so we really started focusing on this and we had some criteria you know i wanted them to be able to be seen yep. you know need to be able to get them water and all those kind of things mm -hmm. we need to be able to move them yep. you know somehow and and really the plan was not to move them permanently but to move them back and forth and, and rotate those pastures yes. and make them the pastures healthier but also make the bison have an opportunity to be healthier so we had all this criteria and started doing the planning in 2016 and then in 2017 we really started cutting paperwork and you know, the government moves in really slow yep. ways. Yep. And then, you know, we had to work through the compliance process, both the environmental compliance, but also the cultural compliance and working with the SHPO's office. And, and that took a couple of years and then COVID hit. Yeah. And, and so then we were kind of just, everything kind of just came to a, a halt with COVID. And then we slowly started getting wound back up. And I really wanted to see this project through before I retired, but then, you know, you know, just other people have to finish things for That's you right. sometimes, and so I knew these guys. We were we were we were well down the road, and I knew these guys would, would finish it up, and so I was pretty confident it was going to happen. Yeah. So it's exciting. I mean, this is a, in my opinion, it's a pretty historical event. You're from around here. You came yeah. down here and saw them when you were a kid, just yep. like I did. And, yep. You know, you'll bring your kids down here, and I, I think that's the fascinating thing about it. Yep. Is this this herd is really got a pretty good tradition here and, yep. and even though it's more of an interpretive herd yes i think it's still important to the park and still yep. important to the folks around here so absolutely you know. yeah well i i was just say i i kind of like to speak for the bison world sort of but so we we appreciate yeah. the efforts that you guys and what you've done for the parks you know park service but just the bison in general you know this is a big deal and if you know we places like Yellowstone we always think about and and you know admire but there's a lot of herds like this that mm -hmm. exist in America and um, you know we appreciate the efforts that the that you guys have done and I love following all this along and just like you said it's nice you, as a local person that we've been seeing them in there forever yeah and well you couldn't even hardly see them sometimes no, no. you know because, it was very rare you yeah got to a point it was very rare you got to see them you got to see them so the fact that a project took and place so actually when i was still here this project started yeah of clearing the cedar and i was on the first burn here yep and i was learning about it was a golf course at one time yep, yep. in sulfur and, and and that was one of the problems you know this is a the historic district is is really on the national register so we had to jump through some pretty big hoops to, because this is part of the you know sulfur too yeah when they moved right. the first moved to town in 1904 it got moved up here, here. and so um we had to jump through those hoops because it was part of the, yeah. old, the old town site and, uh, but we were able to pull it off and, right and, and the place not going to hurt any of that stuff no. No. and and the great thing about the location you are talking about is you you, people will be able to even see them more now. Oh, I think they'll be more visible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that, to me, and I know it's important to you, that's that's what it's about. It's so people can come and experience them and see them and enjoy them. Yeah. And enjoy them there. I mean, it's, it's rare that you get, I mean, in this part of the country, you go to Yellowstone, yeah, they'll walk down the highway with you. But, yeah. you know, it's rare in this part of the country to get to see them in their environment. And this yes. is their environment yep. out here. So. Yep. I think that's, that's pretty cool. Yes. Well, thank you, Bill. I appreciate uh, it. You're welcome. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah.
well an exciting exciting day here not only for for the locals here and around the sulfur area that have seen these bison in here for a long time and uh, this day needed to happen it's been a long time coming and you have to give a lot of credit to the national park service and and the people within the national park service you know i thank bill Wright for getting this thing going and i want to thank him for really pushing this and steve burrow to my boss and thank steve for letting me do this a long time ago and then also kane sykes a park ranger here it's a friend of mine of letting me be a part of this and the approval of the national park service and giving me the approval to me and cole to come and to film and be a part of this sort of like i said behind the scenes of this this is one of those things where these bison were just you know something to look at when you're growing up here but when you were able to get in the pen with them and work with them and where it's led me from you know from being in that old bison pasture pen to where i am today raising our own animals and marissa and i it's a pretty fun story to tell it's a pretty fun story to be a part of so that's why these guys really wanted to let me be a part of it you know steve and kane because they know my history with the bison and where it's led to today and so I want to thank the National Park Service for letting me be a part of this. Really need to thank the MPS employees, the maintenance guys that built this awesome fence. They've been working on this for like a year and a half and it has taken some time. And if you don't know it already, for things to happen in the National Park Service or working for the government, it takes a long time for funding and approvals and committee. And it, it takes a lot of things to get stuff like this done. And when you're dealing with the American bison, it throws a wrinkle in things and makes it even more difficult. So the fact that everybody came together as a small national park here, got this done. It says a lot about the people here that care about this small herd of bison. Yeah, there's only 10 bison here, but there's a lot of history with this herd and it's important that they're focusing on keeping that culture going with these, these animals that have been in this park since the thirties and to be moved to a new pasture so that they can graze and get the nutrition that they need. And not only are they doing that, they're keeping the landscape the way it should be. Very thankful and blessed to do this and be able to bring it to you guys. And I also need to thank Cole, my buddy, who helps me film and stuff. And Cole was with me throughout this day and a part of this. And Cole's, Cole's doing this and putting all this into it as well with me. And so thankful for Cole to be a part of this and help me bring it to you guys. And so lots of people to thank and appreciate to let me do this. Kind of where it all goes back and full circle comes around where I'm still a part of this herd that really drove me and inspired me to do this today. So thank you guys for watching us. This is Bison Ranching with the National Park Service. Thank you guys, we'll see you soon.